a hockey player moves down the ice with the puck, he has a big decision to make. Pass or shoot the puck? His brain uses information from his senses to make that decision and then tells his body what to do. Let's take a look at how that happens. As a forward is moving down the ice, his eyes are collecting light that's reflecting off of all of the objects on the ice, like the puck, uh, other players, and the goal. All of that light is gonna be focused on a specialized structure in the back of the eye called the retina. The retina sees a tiny upside-down picture of what's actually happening on the ice. Cells of the retina turn this tiny upside-down picture into electrical impulses, which are sent all the way to the back of the brain in a structure called the primary visual cortex. From here, this information from the eyes gets combined with information from all over the brain. This includes things like what happened in previous games? What position is the player's body in right now? Can he hear a defensive player coming up behind him? From here, the brain makes the big decision, pass or shoot. After a decision's been made, the brain has to tell the muscles what to do. To do this, electrical impulses are sent from the brain down the spinal cord where they race out to the muscles at speeds faster than a Formula One racing car. The muscles contracting moves the hockey stick and the player shoots the puck. Now that you know what's happening in the player's brain, you can see the game in a whole new light. Enjoy the game.